In this unit, we will set up the simulation based on our example device, an SOI rib waveguide. In this example, we will use two materials, silicon and glass. We can open the material database and check that both materials are already present. Note that it's possible to add new materials if needed by clicking the Add button and selecting the appropriate material model. We will first add the glass substrate using a rectangle primitive. We can then set its dimensions in the Geometry tab to 10 microns in X and Y, and select the glass material in the Material tab. We will rename this object and call it SiO2. We will use another rectangle primitive for the silicon waveguide and set its dimensions to 500 nanometer X span and 220 nanometer Y span. The Z dimension is not important as this simulation will be set up to assume that the Z is the direction of propagation. Now we can set the material to silicon and rename the object SI. Note we can also use import options and predefined objects from the object library to set up more complex structures. Once the structure is defined, we can add the eigenmode solver from the simulation button. The background index is set to 1, and the dimensions are set so the FDE solver is placed over the cross section of the structure. The X and Y spans are 4 micron, which is wide enough so that the mode won't be truncated at the sides, and the boundary conditions are set to metal, which is appropriate for bound waveguide modes with no radiative loss. Under the Material tab, select the Fit Materials with Multi-Coefficient Model option, with range from 1.5 to 1.6 microns, since we will be performing a frequency sweep over that range. Finally, we add a mesh override region from the same simulation button. The geometry of the mesh override will be based on the SI object. We will start with a fairly coarse mesh with step size of 20 nanometers in X and Y. Select the solver region object and use the zoom extent button to zoom the view around the selected object. Use the View Mesh button to see the simulation mesh indicated by the orange grid.